That building is yellow and it's really big, so it should be Union Station. I'm more than sure. Where I'm are sure we? I, I think. Are you sure this is the right way? I can't trust you. You get lost. You get lost everywhere. What is this, Mexico? That building looks really ghetto. We shouldn't even get near it. No, I'm more than sure it's this way. I doubt Union Station is yellow. There's big buildings everywhere in LA. Look, it's Los Angeles Street. That place looks very familiar. Are my stuff even safe here? We're gonna get jumped. We shouldn't even get go near that place. There's a bunch of Mexicans everywhere. Are you sure we're uh, safe? I think. Um, I hate to say this, but this isn't Union Station. I, I really do think we're lost now. I'll call Mom once we get home, and I'll tell her where you've taken me. Look, Tiffany. It's a Mexican museum. It's themed after Frida Kahlo. I wonder if it's open. But, wait. I don't speak Mexican. Oh, isn't that a high school? A continuation school for dropouts, gangbangers, teen moms, and poor kids? <laughs> no, you're wrong. It's a Mexican-themed babysitters for dumb students who can't really make it into a real school. Excuse me? I go to this school. Point proven? Do you mean you attend this school? And if you do, then you must be poor. Look at you. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. How can I be poor when your dad is my family's gardener? I'm obviously not that poor if my family pays your dad to mow our lawn. And can you please tell your dad not to overwater our roses? My mom keeps telling him, but he just doesn't get it. Kids, you remember, just because someone attends a continuation school, just like Frida Kahlo High School, doesn't mean that the student is poor or dumb. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover, or in this case, a student by the school he attends. <laughs>